Is this thing on? Okay, good morning. It is 7.37 in the morning. We're going on a good old fashioned EV road trip up to the North Shore of Lake Superior. Change of plans. We might have to phone a friend here. Okay, we wanted to do this story because we know that a lot of you, if you're considering an EV, you may be able to visualize yourself commuting to work every day. It's a set route, you know exactly how many miles it is, maybe there's snow and ice or some sort of weather going on, but it doesn't vary that much. But Minnesota is looking to expand its EV infrastructure because of the impacts of climate change. And yes, EVs might be convenient in the city, but we wanted to know the reality of using one for a longer drive. That's why producer Joan, photographer Mike, and I are taking a classic Minnesota road trip up to the North Shore. I've never driven an EV for an extended period before, and neither has Joan, so I was excited to check out this Tesla. The ride here in the Tesla Model Y is probably what you'd expect. It's a luxury drive, comfortable, Great sound system. Yes, this is a 70s road trip, officially. <laughs> Luxury details aside, a car is a car, and there are different ways of driving that'll impact its battery life. Just like with a traditional vehicle, the way that you drive matters. So if I'm cruising along at 75 miles an hour, I'm not gonna get the same mileage I would get going 60. But I am conscious of like my heat settings. Like I don't want to crank the heat because I'm worried that that will impact. You know, I know it's a it's a normal thing. You want to use your heat and air conditioning in the car. It being my first EV road trip, I'm feeling a little bit of the range anxiety. This was a pretty common theme throughout our trip, range anxiety. It's not the same as going to a gas station and filling up. It takes a little bit of getting used to, and there are only so many charging stops along the way, so we had to plan things out a little bit more. And as we learned, the charging stops themselves weren't exactly reliable. Change of plans. Our original plan was to head to Moose Lake because that is where producer Joan could charge up her Chevy Bolt. The Moose Lake charging station is down. I can see that on my PlugShare app. And so we have to make a detour for Joan. And that's how we ended up in Pine City. We're in Pine City, uh, topping up. We're in an abandoned parking lot. I'll show you. There we go, hi. And there are the chargers. So these do not support uh, Tesla charging. This is just for Joan. Um, Walmart is up the street. A gas station is up the street at the top of that hill, but it's a little awkward because you want to like get out, stretch the legs, go in, grab a coffee, like use the restroom, do all of that. And it's a little bit more of a hike. It's some like awkward to do it. It took us a second to figure it out. We might have to phone a friend here. What's it telling me to do? I would rate that stop as interesting. Not quite uh, the scenic road trip stop to get treats or grab lunch that we're really looking for. Or now we're heading to Toby's for lunch. There's a fast charger there for my Tesla. Say bye to the car and hello to Toby's. It says it'll take 45 minutes to get from about 60% to about 100% charge. There it is. Took a second. We are charging. Time for lunch. What's in the bag? So we have apple fritter. What? What, Look at that what, bad boy. What, what, what? Lessons from the road. I feel like another thing that is really crystallizing for me is that the Tesla is not just a luxury car or a smooth drive, luxury interiors, finishes. It's a luxury charging experience. 
the charging infrastructure is more built out. It's a little more seamless in that all my payment is already connected. All I do is hit unlock and start charging. I'm not fuddling with a credit card, trying to charge up. And in that way, it's sleeker than stopping at the gas station. But, you know, the charging stations, if they're not built into a desirable area or the target you want to go to or the restaurant where you want to have lunch, that's a little bit more of a hindrance. But with the super fast charging, the level three DC charging, you're not eating up as much time for fewer charging rewards. So I guess my takeaway is that Tesla is not just a luxury vehicle because of its interiors or sleek design. It's luxury because the charging experience is luxurious. Let's talk about the weather. Now, this winter hasn't exactly been the quintessential Minnesota experience, but it's still cold and cold can impact your range. We wanted to put these EVs to the test during the winter because we know that EVs lose up to 40% of their range when it's really, really cold. That's according to a state report that I brushed up on this morning. Okay, so we deal with cold normally in Minnesota. We just happen to be in an El Nino year in one of, if not the warmest winters yet. It'll be a little cooler as we head north, but almost record highs. And we'd already spent 45 minutes to charge the car, so imagine if the temps were colder. We would have been in that parking lot for longer. All right, so it is 537. We just pulled in to the lodge a few minutes ago. It's 36 degrees up here. A little bit of snow, not too much. But this is the important number. We have 160 miles left on our charge. That's 53% that we're rolling into town with. Remember, we left Hinkley with 100% charge um, this afternoon after lunch. So we're doing great. We're gonna plug in. Now we had to stop a few times for production purposes, but we made it almost seven hours later to our destination in Two Harbors. That's the thing about an EV road trip. Your pit stops are already generally mapped out. You've got to do your homework before going on the trip, depending on the car you're driving. And you have to have a backup plan in case it doesn't work out. But you do meet people at these stops and we found the EV community to be super helpful and friendly. I know, I feel like people help each other out. <laughs> it does require a little more planning, at least until the infrastructure improves. But that's okay, right? Because in the end, it's about the journey, isn't it? <laughs>